strategies of recent years. And uh, everyone was very shocked. Boxing, very smart. But you look at the natural athleticism in the Norris. Linares' natural talent has resulted in amazing technique. Oh, perfect left hook. And he landed a straight right hand. I mean, the question about his chin having been KO'd with, you know. Well, DeMarco seems to be trying to adjust to Linares' uh, rhythm right now a little bit better. Doing a much, much better job of getting away from punches. In Tijuana before he was adopted by yes, boxing people who he says saved his life. <laughs> this may be DeMarco's round. This right he's so he's looking very good. He's adjusted a lot to Linares. Best boxing with the best. He has the kind of scene that you had at the crunk in the early days. Great training. You know, earlier when I first heard of him, he was with Ken Adams, was a trainer when he was invaded. Ken what Adams. An uppercut. Right hand lands yes, for Linares over the top. Lands a combination, takes a right hand, and a left from DeMarco. Oh. Linares. For some reason, Jorge Linares has his mouth wide open for three rounds. I don't know why, Jim. Partially because he's handsome, and partially his promoter in Japan, Mr. Honda, is a friend of Oscar De La Hoya's. The comparison has always been which is what he should do. But uh, it, it normally, in this case here, after he punches, he moves away. Oh, hard right hand. Linares has an interesting way of rolling with punches, Emmanuel. I mean, yes. I haven't seen oh, a fighter oh. turn his head as radically as he landed on Linares. There's a hard right hand by DeMarco. Do what it just did, which is snap back from the punch. This is an important test for Linares. By DeMarco down the middle, a young fighter who's shown up to win. And his fighter gave DeMarco the last round. He might wind up giving him this one, too, because DeMarco's landed some very good, clean shots in the last minute. With his jab, because DeMarco is starting to get a little rowdy and trying to take the fight to Linares. Linares has not heeded that advice. DeMarco's preferred distance and getting hit far too often. Linares' is excellent cut man, Joe Chavez. Coming forward, get your first, land the big shots. Jorge Linares' face is showing it. Four rounds to two, but, oh, Jorge Linares. That Harold correctly anticipated in the fifth round that there was a change in the fight. And this will help DeMarco. Well, it certainly helps his confidence as he continues. Yeah, well, he's still very gifted, but this, I think sure. that DeMarco, we probably have underestimated. We were so busy praising Linares. He's looking for the exchanges and the combinations, and I think lo lo looking for the knockout too much. Has not landed nearly as many effective blows, it appears, as was the case in the preceding three rounds. Who's going to polish his own credentials tonight? You see how much more naturally the jab snaps out from Linares when he's not coming forward. Now has two cuts, even though oh. hard right hand by Linares, even though tonight. To my lights, he's winning the round. He sustains a second cut. And a young fighter who shows up thinking he can win and fights with real vigor, like DeMarco is doing. That is such a good point. On this level with him, a young competitive fighter instead of just an old main fighter. And right. all of those punches he threw, nothing was effective as far as the fight, and that's what boxing's all about. So far, Linares has shown a real fighter's mentality in the face of this blood on his face and this guy in his face. I'm not sure if that was a cut man saying he doesn't have something he needed for the cuts, but it sure sounded that way to me. Well, that's the only thing they could mean. It's not cold medicine, that's for sure. Somebody inadvertently knocked a Q-tip out of his mouth during the round, and so he didn't have his medicine on that Q-tip. Not that he's unprepared without medicine do you think the Linares speed of Linares is still bothering him that's the point I was gonna speed make you think Linares scared him down in the last two rounds with all that hand speed yeah that speed is just blazing too much still. wild card you got a tall lanky right hander in con you got a short fast sparring for a guy like DeMarco incidentally he hasn't yet sparred with Amir Khan right that point should be made he right. sparred 30 rounds with Pacquiao DeMarco has another chance. Linares says, come on in. The, and the blood is flowing into his right eye. There's a real change here, Jim. Now he's getting hit with everything. 
but he's fine back he's still. Firing back. He's still fine back. Ducking and slipping, blocking a couple, getting hit. And DeMarco oh, hands. Oh, off. hard right hand by DeMarco. He lands a right hand in return and backs DeMarco up. What a round. What a fight. With a right hand by DeMarco moments ago. Two amazing shots by DeMarco. How did Lenora stay up? It's over. And Raul uh, Caiz is going to stop the fight and give DeMarco a TKO victory. I believe the blood flowing into Lenora's right eye probably yes. had something to do. Yes. And as, as DeMarco is blocking punches, he's steadily moving forward. And every punch that he delivers now, he's lunging and pushing his entire body through with the punch. So a big comeback and a brilliant win for Antonio DeMarco. Referee Raul Caiz Sr. calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes 32 seconds of round number 11. The winner and now WBC lightweight champion of the world, Antonio Tony DeMarco.